The felling of the banyan tree. Dilip Chitre. My father told the tenants to leave. Who lived on the houses surrounding a house on the hill. One by one the structures were demolished. Only our own house remained and the trees. Trees are sacred my grandmother used to say. Felling them is a crime but he massacred them all. The Shioga, the Audimba, the Neem were all cut down. But the huge banyan tree stood like a problem. Whose roots lay deeper than all our lives. My father ordered it to be removed. The banyan tree was three times as tall as our house. Its trunk had a circumference of 50 feet. Its scraggy aerial roots fell to the ground. From 30 feet or more so first they cut the branches. Sawing them off for seven days and the heap was huge. Insects and birds began to leave the tree. And then they came to its massive trunk. Fifty men with axes chopped and chopped. The great tree revealed its rings up 200 years. We watched in terror and fascination this slaughter. As a raw mythology revealed to us its age. Soon afterwards we left Baroda for Bombay where there are no trees except the one. Which grows and seeds in one's dreams. Its aerial roots looking for the ground to strike. About the poet. Dilip Chitre, 1938-2009, was born in Baroda. He writes poetry both in Marathi and English. Travelling in a Cage, from which the poem selected here has been taken, was published in 1980. Apart from poetry, Chitre has also written short stories and critical essays. An anthology of Marathi poetry 1945-1965 is one of his most important works of translation. He sees poetry as an expression of the spirit. He lives and works in Mumbai. The felling of a banyan tree Dilip Chitre Summary The felling of a banyan tree is a lyric poem written by well-known Indian poet Dilip Chitre. The poem is about the cutting down of an ancient banyan tree that stood in the yard of the poet's ancestral house. The cutting down of the banyan seems to signify the cutting down of the roots in the movement to a different and more modern atmosphere that is Bombay. The poet has ancestral house on a hill at Baroda which is surrounded by trees. Many tenants live around the house. One day, his father orders to the tenants to leave the surroundings as he wants to cut the trees. The poet's grandmother used to say that the trees were sacred and cutting them was a crime. But still, the poet's father cut all the trees like the Shioga, Audimba etc. There is a banyan tree which is huge in 200 years old, and which has become problematic for poet's father. Finally, he decides to cut it and orders to massacre it. It is being cut by 50 men for 7 days. The trunk of it is very huge and its aerial roots are gone very deep in the ground. When the branches are cut, the insects and birds leave theme and come to the trunk. The poet is horrified by the cutting of the banyan tree. He is at lost. He feels that as if his roots are cut from his native place in the city where he moved i.e. Bombay has no place for him. Thus, cutting of the banyan tree is symbolic and nostalgic for the poet. Because many city dwellers have cut their roots from their native places and in the name of modernization or sometimes need of the time, they have settled in the cities. But, here also, they feel rootless. It also means cultural displacement.